Alrighty. One Life Run, Abe's Exodus, PC version, August 2022. Uh, I've got to remember what the game speak is. Oh, which means it's... Yeah. Okay, perfect. And that means that that's the shrug, but I want... Where's my fart button? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So I wanted... Hello, shrug, shrug, fart. Perfect. Okay. That's us good. That is us good. And that's that one. That's shrug, but that's... Okay. Because that's the throw. It's so great when you accidentally hit the <laughs> the Windows key. Fantastic. All right, let's see how we go. Jeez, could I not get blown up in the first five seconds? Work, wait, perfect. Yeah, we can work with that. To a good start. Oh, these slicks. I've just got to wait for him to go on back this way and then up. Perfect. Okay, this is actually not going too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should put us at twelve. Perfect. That's not going well. Let's not. Let's. Yeah. Victory through stealth. Okay, cutting it close, but we'll make it work. And the grenade never hit the floor. Okay, let's keep going. It's interesting. The PC version of Exodus has a couple of slight sound differences that I've noticed that I'm not as... that I don't like as much. It's, it's tiny, tiny little acoustic things that I prefer. But... It is still very playable. The graphics still come through very clean. I've said many times, especially even in the extra video for um, Countdown to Soulstorm, it does a lot of things right. Uh, <laughs> I'll get there eventually. And I am a little bit miffed that I can't uh, bind the keys to match the PlayStation controls. But that's, again, that's mostly because I'm used to them more than anything. I'm not losing anything by not having that exact control scheme. It's, it's one thing with New and Tasty where it having the option to configure the controls is nice. It's another thing where I just have to learn how to play it on the keyboard. It's much of a muchness. Uh, I want... Uh... That's actually a really good... Hmm. 
Is it? I've realized for the first time ever, I don't know how to slap Moo Dawkins in the PC version. Oh, by pushing four. No. Uh, have I really forgotten what the controls are to slap them? Yep, I may need to slap them to calm the- Oh, it's just the angry game speak. What am I thinking? It's it's literally just the angry game speak. Logic, Molly. Panicking there, just being like, what? The controls? Same as it always is. You're just using a keyboard instead of a shoulder button. You're all good. Golly. I think that in itself shows how used to the PlayStation version I am. Okay. The alt key. Beautiful. Fingers crossed. We should be pretty good. Lovely. These two, take them through to the other side. Take them through to the other side. One, two. Take them through to the other side. I will say I do like the fact that in amongst all of the game speak, zero at the end is for um chanting. That is nice. Good sanity buffer for me. Nice and simple. Now Z, I'm pretty sure, is the throw button, which means it should also be the shoot button. But yeah. Perfect! That's what we like to see. Go sort out the muds in the background. And then we should be nearly done with tunnel one. Just keeping an eye on the volume, try and get a gauge how it's sitting. Cause that's that's probably the other thing is from a technical standpoint, it's just it's a lot easier to set up. <laughs> The, the first two games on PlayStation because it's just, it from an audio perspective, it's easier for me to organize. That's, that's actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank up the volume so that there'll be those couple of spikes of loud for the sound effects that are loudish, but the rest of the game is now a bit louder to match. Yeah, the Hopefully that shouldn't affect things too much. Because I believe the only thing that's going to affect is... That's only going to be affecting 
secret passage sounds, loud explosions, and um, possibly cutscenes, and that's about it. I've actually got the counter obscured on my um on my overlay. So let me just Yeah. Cool, 26, that should be correct. Should be 26. 26, fantastic. Okay, I am paying attention. That is good to see. That 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 is good to see. Lovely. Okie dook. Okay. Nearly done with time of one. Just go through all of this. Then we're on to brighter pastures. Cause I don't remember what happened with the last exit. Oh yeah, that's right. The Exodus run ended um ended somewhere weird. The last couple have ended in pretty bad spots. So, the important thing from this point onwards with the Exodus runs, especially, is to exercise caution. There we go. And just not to jump face first into anything that moves. Now, if I can avoid doing that, we should be good. We should be good. Beautiful. Skip the cutscene. Okay. Tunnel two time. thrilled when we had everyone coming in to watch me playing Abe's Exodus, Abe's Odyssey, uh, was it last week? Yeah, it was last week where I was doing the Odyssey run and I was doing the PS4 version of Odyssey, which again, it's literally just like the PAL version of the, the PS1 version. And a one, two, three, four, five. And it was just, it was just really nice to have very wholesome discussion from everyone in the chat and just reminiscing on the odd worlds. I loved it. Absolutely great. There have been some really good streams this month especially and I could not be happier. And I'm hoping doing the PC version of Exodus will kind of give me different kind of exp yeah literally cuts out oh, the difference it makes is nuts. Oh, that that solution is just so perfect. I'm, it was either it was either murky or I can't remember who recommended it. But that recommendation of just standing in front of the door and doing the run jump from there and just holding the jump button so it's a guaranteed run jump every time. That's a beautiful suggestion. I love it. It's like the simplest thing. And makes a world of difference. We like to have fun here. No gear? I feel ripped off. Can't have that. Three more, add a boom, boom, boom. Yeah, time to get that flying sleek and keep on going. I was worried he was gonna leave for a second there. Nice. 
no. I ain't doing anything. Yes! Perfect timing. Also perfect timing. Okay. And a one, two, three, four. That should put me at 38. Fantastic. Lovely. Okay. Let's see how we do. Yeah, that's that's not gonna be good enough. Okay. Oh, is yeah, there we go. Okay, so I wanna. Yep. Perfect. Okay. I think I can work with this. Oh boy. With how far apart they were, I did get nervous there. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Come on, you little mud. Okay, there we go. Everybody hit the wall. And the shrug. So it should be seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome! With that, now we just gotta deal with the other half of tunnel three. Get rid of those rocks. That's gonna put me on the right hand side. Okay. Bada boom! Yeah. I don't know if I'd ever want to try and speedrun all the Odd World games. I mean, I have clocked in a lot of hours in my day, but it's 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 hard to gauge because I don't know what people are doing to sit at the current speed records. Don't know what the current world records are, be it any percent or hundred percent or um uh, non-major glitches, as I found out, is the main category on a lot of speed runs for Oddworld. I do need to see what the difference is between an any percent run with not non-major glitches and just in general. So I don't quite know what the difference is. And I don't know how fast, but I know that uh, last someone was talking about it in chat, I think their personal best for a any percent run of Odyssey was sitting at 38 minutes. Which, dang that's impressive considering every time I play at least half an hour of my time is dead is guaranteed to go towards the um the temples. Because they need to be do done in a specific order, with a specific process. You need to make sure you get the flint lock and the chime lock in all of them. There are just parts of those you can't rush. So then mentally trying to figure out where you save time, my immediate thought is it has to be elsewhere in the entire game. So the fact that people can do Abe's Odyssey Without, ma without some kind of major glitch in less than an hour? That's insane. And I want to see how they do that. I want to know how they do that. Like, I can sit pretty comfortably on an any percent run of Abe's Odyssey with... Oh, jeez. I think if I put my mind to it, I could probably do like an hour and a half. I'd need, I need to, I'd need to check for sure. Um, but, uh, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, um, but actually doing, Actually doing it. That's 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 a different beast altogether. Hey, I mean that doesn't land on them. Yeah. I'd need to see what people are doing to get those insane records. It's something I've been curious about for some time, and I think I'm finally at a point where I I want not only do I want to learn, but I'm not scared to learn how people are making these games go even faster. If anything, it's... the idea fascinates me. Getting rocks fascinates me. Especially when it actually works. There we go. Beautiful. Lovely. Alright, Blind Madokan Zone. Okay. I'm tempted to walk off the edge, but I'm like, mm. let's 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 not tempt fate. Let's let's just hold off on that one in particular. Whew.
There's a difference between gutsy and stupid, and I nearly crossed that barrier. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So, Tunle 5. Beautiful. It's done, out of the way. Awesome. They do turn them back on. I thought so. Did I plunk you in? No, I did not. Cool. Oh, I accidentally. Ah, that's what I did. Okay. Six rocks. Awesome. Forty-nine! Through the door. There we go. Yeah. Anyways, I hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday. Apologies that the stream is, um, not keeping it together all too well. Apparently sitting on about 32% dropped frames here, so hope OBS is keeping itself together. There we go. Use the trick. If you have the trick, use it. Fifty-one. Okay. Who oh boy? Ah, oh, that that never. That's never not nerve-wracking. Okay. Okay. Boom. Wait. Okay. 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 Much better. But yeah, OBS is telling me I'm sitting about 32-33% drop frames. I'm not sure what's causing it. I'm not sure why that's happening. All stuff to be mindful of, I suppose. Hopefully on the viewing end, it's looking better than that. Oh, now I've done it. Oh, there's one casualty, I suppose. I rushed the last second and I lost my Mudokan. That breaks my heart. Breaks my heart. Usually I don't have a casualty happen until much later than this, but I was rushing it. That was my fault on that one. I'd found a new solution that I was really keen to use, but I just did not time it properly. Should have talked to the Mudokan and I, I should have gone and then grabbed him that way. I should have done it the other way around. It's something to remember for next time. Unfortunate, but we live and learn hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Okay. Nope. There we go. Lovely. Okay. 
wait. Follow you. You will, you will follow me. Okay. Follow you. You will, you will follow me. So it'll put us at 57. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be 57, 57. Okay. Not the 58 that I wish we were sitting at, but we can work with it. I'm not going to be ambitious and hop through like I did last time. As fun as that was, as fun as that was, I'm not going to do it. I will regret. I will regret trying because I'll muck up the timing. Also, you know what else is not correct? Um... Exodus background. That, I knew something didn't look right. Why? Why am I bothered by the setup? What have I forgotten to do? Change the background. I know, I could edit it in post probably. But more often than not with the one life runs, I usually just export it straight to YouTube. I only really download it if there's anything else I want to add, edit in for when it goes up. Who knows, there might be. I know with the Odyssey run, because of how long that went for after the run was finished, there's some stuff I want to edit together for that. So I will probably edit that part before it goes up. Yep, 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 yep. Here they come, here come the Moodokens, walking through all the beams. Oops, is right. Everybody, all three of them? Lovely. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, very good. Into the portal. One, two, and three. Now what am I going to do? Gonna do the power of the sleep first because it always makes me uncomfortable. Solved. 
Very good. Okay. Uh, there he is. There he is. In the edge. One, two, three, four. That should put us at 67. Perfect. Be good if I was back on the right window. Thank you, game. Lovely. I'm watching you, OBS. Got me mighty nervous. Not too thrilled about it. Oh, yeah. This will at least get us to 70. And a one, two, three. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I'm just not getting a stroke of particularly good luck today. Drop frames just keep going up at the moment. Come on, be the right timing. Ah, so close. Ah, usually if I can time it just right, I can get the sleep before he leaves. That's the important part. That's the wall. Perfect. Boom. And a boom. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep on going, keep on going over here. There we go. Lovely. It just, it'd be good without the dropped frames, is all. I'm just so irked by it now. It's bothering me. I don't know what I can do to fix it. car over the edge over the mines over to the mud save the other four and then just get out of here but we can't really improve the total meaning at this point it's all just down to progress mostly One, two, three, four. Okay. Here he comes. There he goes. There he goes again. Da -da 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 -da. I'd be tempted to run to it, but I'd be hopping over his head at this point. And I just, I don't quite want to thread the needle that close. 
This one, however, I'm happy to do. Let's go. Go. Go faster, go. Go faster, go, go faster. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I got a little bit nervous there that I would be risking Abe accidentally running into one of the explosions and getting killed. Because, yes, they can hurt you, and it sucks when it happens. And I'm not really in the mood to deal with that, thank you very much. But here we are. Necrom. And we don't have to worry about any more secret passages until we get to Mudomo. And I'm... Oh, it's tricky. I'm debating whether I still do Mudomo first or whether I do Mudanchi first this time. I'm thinking I might do Mudanchi first. Change it up a little. Have fun with it. I mean, it may, it may turn out to be the preferred way to do it. After all, next month what I'm going to be doing with Odyssey is I'm going to be doing Scribania first instead of Paramonia. And we'll see how that goes. I'm actually feeling a lot more comfortable, or confident at least, with most of the secret passages in the game now. Which is a big deal. I was initially not feeling confident in any of them. For Odyssey, that is for this challenge and now I'm feeling like I could probably do just about all of them which is kind of nuts so yeah me thinks that'll be an interesting way to change it up a little bit Cool. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, so now we head back up here. In we go. And hopefully, hopefully, we start to see a change from here. Improvement. I am very curious to see if doing Mudanchi first goes better for me or worse. I don't know. Hard to say, because the only thing that's really going to change is I won't have the escapees from the Secret Passage in Mudona, in, in Mudona. <laughs> ah, yes, that fantastic, ta that Mudanchi, Mudomo, and Mudona. Yep, mm-hmm, Mudona, yep, mm-hmm, that's the one, yeah. What? I, I, ha I haven't the words. But my dyslexia has inadvertently created some kind of alternate canon that doesn't exist. No, it's five down one. Fleeches are just terrifying, regardless. Dude. There we go. Cool. One down, three to go. Bottom, bomb. I'm watching these these slurs nervously. Ah, 
it never gets easy with these. This is still such a nerve-wracking part of the game, even for disc one, just because of the energy that it sets, the tone that it sets. Perfect. Yes. Thread the needle. Lock. Back up we go. Every time I hear those sounds, it's just so terrifying. Every time. It's never not scary. There. There. I'd rather hit the wall just to be certain. I can probably run across because of how small the gap is. I just don't want to risk it. But if I ever did speed run Exodus, that would be one of those things I'd try and find. If there are places where you can make, where you can save time around fleeches, especially. Because fleeches, I imagine. Because of the fear they instill in me, I'm sure a lot of it is just very clever programming and I could probably mentally work around it if I practiced enough. But yeah, we're gonna go to Mudanchi first this time. And the benefit is, if I do Mudanchi first, and I get to the end of Mudanchi first, the number of escapees I'll have from the very end of it, after the Mudanchi Ender, will put my total higher than my current best record. Meaning the only way I can raise it higher then is if I get to Mudomo. Which, you know, in a perfect world, in a perfect run, that would be what I'm aiming for. But, at this point we're just trying to see if doing Mudanchi first has any pros or cons to it. Because I'm neither for nor against the idea. Because I'm not losing out on anything. Oh, why? <laughs> Every gosh dang time. Goodbye, little green wormies. Not in the mood for your nonsense. Go away. Gonna run away from them and jump into the well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Murky. Much appreciated. And thank you for tuning in. I'm really changing it. Do you, I hear the good news? Which good news would that be in particular? You may have to be a little bit more specific. Oh, biscuits. I don't know, Murky. Tell me what's the good news. <laughs> tell me what's the good news. Uh, I need to practice Mudanchi anyway, so I'm going to keep going. But by all means, tell me what's the good news. Welcome to the club, my friend. The spectrum openly welcomes you. You're more in touch with what is going on in your brain, slash your body, slash your whatever. Welcome to my life. Anyone who follows me on Twitter, it's literally in my handle. Never said before. Well, that's the thing, because it, it's weird, because I'm in the same space of I will openly just be like, yeah, no, I have ADHD. I've been diagnosed since I was three, this, that, and the other thing. But it's like, it's not an icebreaker that I take the parties or anything. It's funny you should mention having a sixth sense, because as an Australian, I technically have one myself. It's the ability to see through bullfrog. <laughs>
It's quite a handy dandy sixth sense to have. Ooh, awesome. Good stuff, good to know. Actually, so is Boomduck Live. Quite the delightful chap indeed. He's a puppet. Yes, I starve my followers. Big deal. I need to, I need to organize myself a layout specifically for speedruns as well, but I have been looking into doing the same. Partly because I want to try updating my times for Zool Redimensioned again. I'm pretty happy with those, but I think I could do better. And then eventually, once I know what I'm doing, I want to try Odyssey. I'd probably just go for any percent. I was bouncing between whether, when I finally do do a speedrun, whether I do New and Tasty or Exodus, uh, New and Tasty or Odyssey first. I'm still thinking I'm more likely to do Odyssey. Let's not muck this up like we did last time. There we go. Beautiful. Perfect. Bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, now this stupid, this stupid, this stupid trial is one of the ones I need the most practice with. It's this and the Mudanchi Ender. Those two can both, you know, die in a hellish pit. So I'm not particularly fond of either. Okay, okay, that is the faster way of doing it. Good. Good, good, good. I keep thinking running to the upper ledge is wasting time. That makes perfect sense. Ah, awesome. Run, 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 run. Slap. Jump in. Jump in the line. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, the trial's done now. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better now. Oh, good. Ah, oh, for what? Why was I leaning on the caps lock? That's rude. It's still looking like the one culprit is that consistently problematic trial that I have with the three sections. Otherwise, the rest of it seems to be relatively consistent, which is nice. Because Mudomo are... Bleh. Mudomo, I already know where my problem spots are. Whew! Oh jeez, I cut that close. <laughs> oh. So the two trials that I think will still catch me off guard are the ones that I think have always caught me off guard. The only other problem with Mudanchi is this goodness gracious awful places. It's just, just, just this. Just the Mudo Mudanchi Ender is, is the, the beast of burden. It is the problem. Above all else. I could have done that better. Yep. I could have done that better. Okay. So, flawed, but not imperfect. Okay. Okay, much better. Much better. Okay. Already a marked improvement. Oh, you actually get a... You actually get a... You actually get the red strobe here. Nice. Abe run. Abe run. Okay, it's doable. Not only is it doable, I think I'm, yeah. I think I might start doing Mudanchi first for this. 
That may be the way to do it. Yeah. So yeah, if if um if things hadn't gone awry when I had got to Mudanchi, I would have beaten my personal best. Uh, yeah, so if I didn't have those two deaths that I had in Mudanchi, we'd have a personal best improvement. Uh, couple that with two extras. If I could get through Mudomo, that would put me at 81. And provided I then get to the end of disc two, that'd get me to 86. 87 if I didn't have the death that I ended up having in uh, Necromines. So that is actually a marked improvement. That is a massive marked improvement. That's nuts.